Good evening. I'm Nancy Grace. I want to thank you for being with us. Breaking news tonight, live Missoula. She dreamed all her life about an extravagant storybook wedding, and Jordan Graham's dream comes true. A twilight garden wedding complete with multiple attendants, all dressed in pink head to toe, and over the top reception. But just eight days after that storybook wedding, the 26-year-old groom, Cody Johnson, dead. Dead after a night of alleged good times with friends. Police then hone in on not just a friend, but Cody's very best friend, his brand new bride. Bombshell tonight in the last hours. I hope you're sitting down. The bride walks free from jail, claiming her groom's death, plunging face first off a cliff at Glacier National Park. Is an accident. Repeat, the bride walks free after lure, clearly luring her husband up the top of a nearly 7,000 foot peak. And remember, this is a guy who is afraid of heights. She even says she pushes him with both hands. His back was to her, he went off face first. Then lied to police about it, trying to implicate others before she finds his body. In the last hours, a judge lets her walk free. She's on home arrest, guarded by her mother. We are live and taking your calls out to John King, talk show host with KGVO. Talk back. John, thank you for being with us. Joining me from Missoula. John, she walks free. What? Yeah, it's pretty amazing, Nancy. I was there in court watching the whole trial take place. And honestly, I have to say the FBI messed this one up big time. And that's the reason she's walked free. What do you mean the FBI messed it up big time? Well, the case by the FBI was that she was a harm to the community. They basically conceded, the uh, prosecution basically conceded that she wasn't a flight risk. So the whole case hinged on whether or not she was a harm to herself and the community. And by getting a sworn statement from her nearly two months ago and letting her stay at home, I mean, they released her within two hours of getting this testimony. 